all packed, all ready, nice and clean. We're going again, folks. Well, good morning, happy people. Back in the saddle. What a place to be. Setting off on another little kind of mini adventure today. Just the two of us. Got Wayne in front and myself. Or Waff, as is uh, also known. But I'm a bit more loaded than I was going up to Scotland. The main reason being is uh, I'm carrying my own house today, i.e., the tent and all the camping gear. We are heading up to Robin Hood's Bay. Just going to have a couple of nights up there. We're staying at a delightful little campsite that we've stayed at before. Just on top of the hill looking down over Robin Hood's Bay. Cracking view. We'll see when we get there. And uh, it's called Hook House Farm. Just going across the Humber. The size of these two towers. Massive, absolutely ginormous. Sometimes it gets closed off this bridge to high sided vehicles due to high winds. Obviously, it's a no brainer, isn't it? Sorry if you're getting a bit of wind noise actually, but uh, I've got my chin guard up. And here we are arriving at the north side. Hulk side. Now we have our own lane for us to go straight through. People paying. Can't help you, fella. Welcome back, guys. You rejoin us. We've done what? Uh, nearly 50 mile now. We're going to stop off at a cafe now for a full English. It's one we've been to before. I can't remember the full name of it. I think it's. It's Carnaby, and I think it's Carnaby Cafe and Farm Shop, something like that, but I'll put up the full proper name. It's just on the outskirts of Bridlington, and it does a cracking at a breakfast. Yeah, Russ, one of the lads who went to tour into Scotland with us, it's his friend, he owns it, a fella called Ray. Don't know his second name, but cracking bloke. Just at the end of this road on the left hand side. It's good to see you, mate. Yeah, not bad. So you were wondering, where you been? Where you going? I'm going to uh, Robin Hood's Bay. Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah. buddy. Hello, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a Hey. Go, man. Another second million now, Waff. I'll tell you. Yeah. Go, man. I'll tell you what. It's the hardest thing in the world for people to get them out in there to work. Is it? I'll get them to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, my next step is I'm bringing that. What's it in a, a telly? Oh, that uh, woman who... Uh, no, not the woman, he swears a lot, who's the chef. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's his name? Oh. Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. He'll sort of that. Yeah, he doesn't hold back, does he? No. You're off to Robin Hood's Bay? Yes, mate, we are. Nice up there. Well, I just said to uh, my mate, I Feel said that. The cracking cafe, huh? Russ's yeah. mate's got a cracking cafe that we're yeah, doing. There, yeah. Full English. Oh, that's a nice big break. He's going out this morning and they're a big busy. Are they? Yeah. So uh, I'm getting a little thing sorted out there. What are you building there, Ray? Hook a duck. Hook a duck? No, no. Hook, <laughs> 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 line and sinker there, won't it? Literally. You'll stay here, I'll have one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, there, I think. Oh, nice one. Ice cream parlor. Nice one. We built it last year and we never last year. It was shit brother, wasn't it? We yeah. never got it out. You know, like sergeants used to do, like Ibbles oh, stuff. Yeah. Remember that? That was a gold mine, that. Good stuff, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, mate. I've had no to beat that. Oh, I'll tell a lie. And I'll be in the lake. Uh, I'll put it in the store. Oh, yeah. I'll put it in the store. Have a nice 
Yeah. Cheers, Ray. Right. <laughs> we'll see you again. Yeah, we're, we're going to probably do that Wednesday, yeah. All right, mate. Cracking fella, cracking breakfast. It's down the bottom, isn't it? Oh, it's a cracking bloke, yeah. Yeah, just had our full English breakfast. Bloody lovely. £3.50. Full English. Fresh orange for me. Cup of tea for waff. Slice of toast. Can't fault it. Great value for money. Recommend it to anybody. And now heading up to uh, Robin Hood's Bay. We have got 34 miles to do. Like I say, it's, not, it's only a mini tour. This is not Greta Logan, but uh, it's an adventure. That luggage that you can see on the back of uh, Waff's bike is the Ventura range. And wow, what a great uh, setup it is. It's got like a big U bar that sticks on the back frame. And you can either sit that great big bag on your back seat or it comes with a shelf that sticks out the back, which is how Waff's got it set up actually. The shelf stuck out the back with that bag on and then on the front of that he's got his tent and his sleeping bag bungee tied to it. So a massive amount of space. He's got it fully extended as well. In its normal state, it's about four inches lower than uh, what you can see here. We just do undo the extension zip and it lifts up and gives you another four inches. Fits on any bike, you just need the uh, specific bracket and uh, shelf for your particular make of bike. But the bags come as standard. He's got panniers for it as well, but uh, he popped them on and uh, realised he didn't need them. As you can see, there's pockets all over it and all. One on each side, one at the back, and I presume there's maybe one at the front. I can't see from here, but uh, yeah, cracking bit of luggage. Stopped at this one before for petroleum. The only thing when you're fully loaded with luggage, go in your leg over. Hey! Nearly there now. Not far, mate. About five mile, I think. Nine ninety-nine. You could have put another penny in, couldn't you, and spent a tenner. <laughs> yeah, that's the KTM Prestige that WAF owns. Six ninety SM. Yeah, this is the luggage I was talking about, the Ventura. Bloody fantastic bit of kit. The amount of stuff you can get in that. Fantastic. And that's the expansion from finger to thumb. There, look. Undone this zip. There, look. Gives you another four inches. Hey. I'm just telling my people on YouTube about your baggage, how good it is. Oh. Bloody amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You got the missus in there, haven't you? Do what? You got the missus in there, haven't you? In bits. <laughs> But don't tell the news anybody. Are you saving me? Yeah, I think it's still it's red, flashing red. It is, yeah. yeah, you got it, yeah. I don't know what I'm so while I'm away. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, admitted on YouTube, officer. Yeah. Do you know your way from here? Yeah. So you're right turn about five miles. Away. Up there, yeah. Downhill. Oh, you, Steve. All right. And I go up and over. <sighs> Did you miss me dash cam? I can see the sea from here. A bit of a U here. My new heat tyres. We're actually coming down to the bottom, I think. Robin Hood's Bay. It's a weird way, it's just bras in. Ah, now I know where I am. It's just down here on the right hand side. There's Robin Hood's Bay in front of us. Look at that, folks. Here we are, happy people. Hook's house farm. Look at that view. 
kreat. Just where I'm parked now will be perfect. Hello. Hi there. I wonder if we could have our favourite spot, but I don't think we can, can we? On the top. Two tents. No. No, I didn't. No, the, they're all full of caravans, aren't they? Hello. I'll have to come go out. Alright. And have a little look. Because yeah. It's not to be a bit bad breakfast, mate. If you don't mind, <laughs> we'll all go out together. Yeah, that's a lovely good idea. Uh, uh, where his windbreak is, coming this way, it's, you can't get any flatter than that. Mm. You won't say. We're near the shower here, aren't we? Or anything. I'm getting water in that, aren't we? There's a drinking water tap where that pus, where the fire extinguisher is. Oh, right down bottom there? Yeah, but you, you know, you can't move toilets down there. <laughs> Oh. 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 Do, you to, do you want to go down there, do you? I think, tenting wise, you're best down there. I know we're a fair whack away from the shower block. Anywhere between the fire extinguisher and the blue windbreak, yeah. then? Yeah. Do you want some money off us now, then, Doug? £20 each, then, please, for two nights. Yeah, there you go, there's mine. Thank you very much. And your names? Mr. Whiteley and Mr. Clark. Whiteley and Clark. Right. There's mine. Thank you very much, that's smashing. Thank you. I'll go and do that, then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, That's ah, all right, no problem. All right, take it easy, lad, on this bloody gravel. A bit of off-roading. One there, one there, then, do you reckon? Yeah, I'm going to put mine here. So then we're between the fire extinguisher and Yeah, I'm going to come fairly forward, though. I'm going to come back here. Yeah, I'll put mine here. Yeah, I'll put mine here. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, because that's more of a little bit Camp settled. Leaving your keys in here.